Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tuning episode. We are in the S13. We have Rocket Bunny uh, kitted this up. Um, for these episodes, I'm going to go for more. I tune the car in my own time and then I'll show you guys the tune afterwards because those live episodes, I don't go in depth with the car. I, I can't tune because obviously I'm on a time limit. I can't, I can't like get the car dialed in as much as I want to. Um, that's what I found with my Rocket Bunny 240SX. Um, I was running it in like a, a lobby later that night and it wasn't amazing. Um, unless if I had more time on it, I would have dialed it in a little bit more, which is what I want to do. So S13, I was running it last night um, and this morning and I've got it dialed in. It feels nice on the wheel. It feels good. It feels nice and stable. It's got the power. Um, everything about it feels good. So let, let me... Let me give you a quick drift tour. We're going for the grey and the grey and green um, paint. Okay, we're running about 380 horsepower. I'm pretty sure. I think it might be in the 400s just, but it's round about there. But stock engine, uh, we got plenty of power. Um, maybe a little bit low powered compared to my other builds, uh, but it's still enough power in this car. As you can see, it's very stable. Transitions so fast as well, which is good. Um, also, it's got the power. Like if you look now, it's got the power to do that really long corner there, which is good. But it's also got the. It's also got like the, the rev range to kind of get out when it's you expect it to be bogging down. It doesn't bog down, so it's good. It's good. It's good. Let's take the shorter route here. Yeah, everything about this car right now is spot on. I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, probably my best car so far. And that's saying something, because I really do like my R34. Um, if you haven't checked out my R34, uh, the video is up. Uh, probably one of my best cars right now. Uh, but this s 13s took that title, you know. <laughs> it's took the title. Look at the stableness of this thing. This is crazy. Okay, so what you guys want to see, you want to see the upgrade. So let's head back over this way. Let's get to the Horizon Festival. Um, gearing is quite short, so like if you're doing like a speed run like this, uh, I made gear six really long just so when you're all like going down the motorway or something, you can just keep going. Because uh, normally I like top out at like 130, uh, but I just extended gear six. Not amazing. I just done it just for pure. I don't know. You just hate sitting on the rev. Oh fuck, uh, the rev limiter. So there we go. Back at the festival site. So let's jump in here, and I'll show you guys the upgrade. I am running the Rocket Bunny kit, um, but that's completely up to you guys. You can run it if you want to, or if you don't want to. Um, so let's go to the garage and let's go to the upgrades. Um, I did not do the body kit preset. Uh, what I learned from the 240SX one. Um, if you do the preset, it changes the engine, it gives you a twin turbo, it changes everything like that. Uh, so you don't want to do it that way. You want to go into custom upgrades and you want to go to conversion and then you want to go to body kit. And that just puts the body kit on, it doesn't change the engine, it doesn't change anything like that. Um, so that's what you want to do. Uh, so first off, if you want the Rocket Bunny, uh, just go to the body kit, do that. Um, drive train. We want to keep it real wheel drive. Sorry, I was in my own little world then. <laughs> engine swap, stock engine, as you can see. Okay, so that's all the conversion stuff done. Error and appearance, that's completely up to you guys. Um, if you're running the body kit, you've only got two options, so you can only have a spoiler. Uh, but I just like the Rocket Bunny, uh, kind of like JDM uh, lip on the bonnet there. On the bonnet, on the... On the trunk, if I'm American. Okay. You can also have a... I bought it if you want it, uh, but I just like the stock one, it's a lot more cleaner. Okay, so tyres. I am running street tyres as usual. Whips 245 in the front and 265 in the rear. I try and aim for that size on all my cars. It just seems to work for me. Um, it's a tyre width that's 
feels really nice on the wheel. Uh, so I try and not stray far away from that. If I can get that, um, then I'll just go for it. Um, so there you go, rim style is completely up to you guys again. I've gone for 18 inch rims. So yeah, that's completely up to you guys as well. If you wanna go 20 inch, that's completely up to you. Uh, I just went for 18, it gives you a little bit of tire wall as well, which is good. Uh, don't look too big. So drivetrain, everything in drivetrain, just go and put it on race. Um, I won't go through those, just put it all on race. Uh, platform and handling, my brakes are on street. Um, I'm doing this mostly, it's just a personal thing for me. Uh, because when I'm tandeming, I do tend to touch the brake a lot. And uh, when I'm on race brakes, it's really sharp and it stops you really quick. Uh, so I've just gone for like street brakes, just uh, not as sharp if you know what I mean, not as, not as, not as killer. Um, so you want off-road suspension as well. Um, Anti-roll bars, we want sport. Rear anti-roll bars, you want sport. Chassis, roll cage, you want complete and utter roll cage inside this bitch. I don't even know why I just said it like that. I, I can't English this morning. I woke up and I can't speak. I was speaking to my mum and I was saying words that don't even exist. Like, I don't <laughs> Okay, race weight reduction, you want on it as well. Engine, okay. Air fuel at race. Fuel system, race. Ignition, stock. Exhaust, race. Camshaft, race. Valves, race. Displacement, race. Pistons, compression, stock. Turbo, stock. Intercooler, race. Oil and cooling, race and flywheel will be race as well. So there we go, that's all the upgrades right there. Um, I'm gonna jump into the tune now so you guys can see the tune. If you want it unlocked, um, also I will upload this at the end of going for this tune uh, onto the storefront. So if you guys wanna download it from the storefront, if you don't wanna put all the upgrades on, if you don't wanna put like, um, enter all the tune yourself, um, you can just go onto the storefront, download the tune and it's on the car, that's it. Simple as that. So there we go, tires. Gearing, as you can see, gear six is really long. That's just a personal preference. I don't like sitting on the limiter, um, so I don't know. Let's shorten that a tiny bit. I don't know. Um, alignment: minus two cameras in front, minus one in the rear. Caster seven point zero. Anti-roll bars: we can't touch that. Springs: seventy-five point two in the front, fifty-six point five in the rear. Ride height: front eleven point nine, rear eleven point four. Damping 6.8, rear 6.0, and bump stiffness 5.2 and 4.6. Aero, we can't touch that. Braking, I didn't bother touching that either. Differential, 100%, 100%. So that's that. I'm gonna upload that tune onto uh, the storefront for you guys as well. Just in case you wanna download it easily, it's there for you. So I'm gonna put episode three. Oh shit, let's give a space there. We don't want to look too unprofessional. I could put a capital at the start if I want to be more uh, professional, but there we go. Saving content, please do not turn off your fucking console. And uh, let's put it drift. Best for handling because it's stable as fuck. Share. Yeah. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, episode three complete. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. This car is sick, you better check it out. Check out all my other tunes as well. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.